today I'm going to show you how to use Arbiter in a MongoDB replica set using KubeDB. For this uh, demonstration purpose, I have already installed KubeDB in my local Kubernetes cluster. You can uh, simply go to license.issuer.exclude.com to uh, get the KubeDB license. I'm using uh, KubeDB version uh, May 24, 2022 version. You can check this link here. I'm uh, going to uh, apply uh, this replica set YML. Here you can see that the kind is MongoDB and API version is kubedb.com b1 alpha 2. The name of the MongoDB replica set is MGRS, which is in DB space. The version I'm using 4.4.6 MongoDB version. The replica set name is uh, replica set. And uh, this is the port template you can see. The replicas count is two. So one primary and one secondary will be there. The storage type is set to durable, and uh, this is the storage spec of the primary and secondary ports. And uh, enabled the SSL, so the SSL mode is uh, set to require SSL. And uh, we have to also uh, set the Mongo CA issuer. So this is the issuer YML. You can see uh, I have referred the secret name here. And uh, you can uh, simply create your secret with tls.cert and tls.key and uh, refer that secret on the uh, spec.ca. And uh, this is the arbiter port template where uh, the memory uh, request is set to uh, 600 MB and the CPU request is set to uh, 600 M and the termination policy is set to equal. So let's apply uh, this YML. First, we have to create the secret. Secret has been created. Then we can apply the issuer. The issuer has been also created. Now we can apply that replica set panel. Okay. Here you can see that the MongoDB is uh, status is provisioning. So uh, it will uh, create one uh, three ports one by one the primary first then the secondary and the arbitrary ports and you can see that there are two states to set in this name space this this one uh, has been created first so this is uh, this is for uh, mgrs0 and mgrs1 and when another uh, stateful set will be created in a moment, uh, that will be for arbiter. So let's wait for some time. Yes, now we can get that STS. Okay, this is uh, the arbiter stateful set. It will be uh, ready in a moment. Let's wait for that. Uh, by the way, if I get the YML now, the arbiter YML, here uh, you can see that uh, this is the uh, resources memory request and limits we have set. So everything is fine. The DB path is enabled and the DLS is set require SSL. So everything is uh, set to fine. Now uh, let's uh, exit into one of the port to see if uh, everything is uh, okay from the DB side. Okay. This is in the beginning space. Yes, we are uh, inside the MGRS0 port. As uh, the SSL is enabled, we need to copy a uh, command. Here in this command, you can see uh, that this is the Mongo command where host is localhost, and uh, these are the TLS CF file and TLS certificate file. And uh, root is the username, and this is the password for uh, MongoDB database. So we are inside the primary. 
now if we are on db dot admin command with get cmd line oops here uh, you can see these arguments uh, have been set correctly or not also uh, you can check the status of replica set dot status and uh, here you can see that mgrs0 is the primary mgrs1 is the secondary and uh, this is the arbitrary port has been set as uh, arbitrary and if each of them uh, each of the ports held is one so they are up and running so you can uh, see that this is how we can use arbiter on a mongodb replica set using qbd thank you